Lovely day. Yeah. Uh, finally. Um, the administration asked us to kind of get to what, uh, you know, there's anything that you would require from us. No, uh, the website is announced tomorrow. We plan on uh, protests. Well, actually, uh, as I put it on the site, and as I believe, right? yeah. Um, all I plan to do is try in whatever way I can to witness to the truth. So, because that's what Christians are called to do. We're, we're called to witness. As I was explaining to the young ladies, when, when St. Paul went into the city, right? And very often, as you know, St. Paul would go into the city and by the time it was done, he would have been stoned, he would have been driven out, he would have been thrown in jail, or uh, prison and so forth and so on. This happens. But what did he do? All St. Paul did was witness. All he did was basically pray and speak the truth. That's all he did. Now, in, in the case of, of, of this situation, I think that all that witness requires is just that. You witness. And this is what I didn't understand when I read the account. And, and, and what, it wasn't even what led me to come here, y'all. It was, you know, it was like God convicted me. I, I actually was reduced to tears by my own sense of shame that I had professed all my life to be pro-life, had loved Randall Terry, had supported Randall Terry, had done things, and I, but I always said in my heart of heart there was this reservation that said, that's his way of doing it. And I, I'm not, I defend him, he's right, that's exactly what I know Christians did down through the ages, but it's just not my fault. And, 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 and it was like God was just convicting me in that moment to see with my real heart, the heart that breaks you down, okay, that I was lying to myself. And that, in point of fact, it wasn't Randall Terry who was in that position. It was Jesus Christ, and I was refusing to see it. I was refusing to see the cross. I was refusing to see the humiliation. I was refusing to see the imprisonment and the torture. And he opened my eyes. So if that's what's reserved for whoever, because they stand for that truth, then that's all right. Because everything that has ever been accomplished by Christians was accomplished by simple witness with the willingness to die in order to if that's the consequence. Okay? So if people come against us and wish to throw us in jail or do whatever, okay. You know, I, I would have to confess part of the shockingness of it all was that from the... Uh, even though I can make a really good argument that it's not even justified when public authorities do it if we're standing here on the street. But, of course, in the case of another day, Two things are true. As I said to someone the other day, Father Jenkins is, in terms of the law, absolutely within his right. Notre Dame is private property. And if he wants to say so-and-so can't come on my private property, that is certainly a prerogative that he has as the chief administrator. But you know, there's human law, and then there's the law of God. And it seems to me that a Catholic university standing there with Our Lady's name on it, the mother of God, uh, the, and, and, and that Catholic university professing. If you asked Father Jenkins, he'd tell you for life. I'm sure he would. He would tell you that killing babies is wrong. He would tell you that the whole thing is a deep violation. He might even be able to quote from me, from, from uh, you know, uh, the, the sanctity of life and, and the things that have been written over and over again to make it clear that this is the teaching, the stand of the Catholic Church. He'd have no bones. I might do that. So, that, that's really very clear. So here's, here's my problem. I just want to finish this so you all sure. understand. Because uh, what I am motivated by is this. And, and I, I will be doing my best because this is what convicted me, right? It was what made me feel like for all I pretended to do stuff for the pro-life movement, I have never been willing to do what God requires. And you know why? Because over here, there is a man who represents the very heart of abortion evil, who is the epitome and focus of that evil right now in the whole world. There is no one who is more prominent, more forceful, more devastatingly promoting abortion and abortion evil than Barack Obama. This man invited to the campus of Notre Dame to be honored with a degree, to be smiled at, his hands shaken, to be treated like he's worth something. And this man who has laid his life on the line for the baby, who has gone to jail, who has lost his homes, who has been inflicted, he stands alone to be treated like a criminal. Well, no, I'll stand with him. That's going to be the case. I'll stand with him until hell freezes over.
Okay? And that's why I've come. Because it seems to me that there's something deeply, wickedly wrong. There is a chasm opening now that I do not understand. My mind can't get around it. I have been a Catholic all my life. I have gone through the battles, I have fought for the causes. I understand that sometimes we stand alone. But why on earth would it be at a Catholic university? Well, we are not here to pass a judgment on you or Mr. Randall yep. Terry or any any of the individuals, but what I'm saying is the university administration has... We have our orders and we're... That you are, we are to be issued a trespass notice, that, which means that university's private property, if you do come on the university property, you could be subject to arrest for trespass. That's outrageous. And, and that's oh, I haven't even done anything. I'm just I mean, here, just and you are no issuing me a notice. Right. Yes. No, that, 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 that actually, but, but, but meaning no offense? Uh, one of the things that the world will learn from all of this, uh, and that Father Jenkins is going to learn, because I have been moved in my spirit to understand that I'm not sure that he'll even be a father in the eyes of God. So I'm much less president of this university. But leave that aside. Yeah, right. We're the not, world. Not here to pass judgment the, on the, the simple truth is, this land, this whole university institution. Uh, last time I looked, the the word private meant that it belonged to some human party. And, and it's one of the reasons why one of two things will ultimately come out of all of this. Either Notre Dame will return to respect for God's will, or I think Catholics the world over will demand that the name of the Mother of God be removed from this university and that Catholic sanction be removed. Do you realize what is going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Do you remember when Christ was born, what happened? What happened before Christ was born? I just want to respectfully ask. No, but wait a minute. You know why I'm talking to you? Go ahead. Because you used a phrase to me that puts the chill in. What does that mean? Um, well, we're just, what was it? We're just doing following our, our orders, following you're doing your job. Well, you know,